What's up guys, Iovo here and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own outro for absolutely free without any downloads. So before we begin, be sure to smash that like button down below. Let's see if we can hit 2000 likes for this video and let me know down below in the comments any questions you have because I will be doing a Q&A soon. And with that being said, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and, and go on vector.com and create an account. So we're going to click on the login button over here and it's going to log us in. And if you haven't made an account, you're gonna click on the sign up button. Now I already have an account, so I'm gonna go ahead and just log in real quick. Now, once we have logged in, you are going to go ahead and create a file. And the first thing we have to do is go ahead and make our first page, which is already made. And we're going to go ahead and make the dimensions of our outro. So if you have a 1080p video, of course, you're going to want to make your outro be 1080p. So we're going to go down here unlink the two dimensions and make it 1920 by 1080 and now if we zoom out we can see it is a 1920 by 1080 workspace which is perfect for a 1080p outro now the first thing when it comes to making any outro is to have a background so we're going to go ahead and make our way to google images and we're going to find a nice background for our outro now i'm going to look for a bokeh background which is basically these, you know, soft light backgrounds, which I think look really cool on outros. Now, of course, if you wanted to, you could also go ahead and look for maybe like a blue gradient background and have one of, you know, these backgrounds, but we're going to find a nice bouquet one because that's what I want to use. And I really like the look of this one right here. We're going to click on view images, right click, save image as, and in our pictures, we're going to save it and then go back into vector click on this cloud button to upload our image and we are going to find our free download bokeh background which is right here now as you can see by holding shift we can resize the actual image and we're going to do just that and everything that is showing is going to show up on the outro everything that's faded is not going to show up and then we're going to click to have everything put into place. Now the next step is to add our video box or video boxes where you're going to be showing the previous or the next video. So we're going to go ahead and go on the rectangle tool and just draw in a rectangle. Now, as you can see, the rectangle width and height are shown right here. And you want the actual dimensions of the rectangle to be 16 by nine. So we're going to go ahead and search for a 16 by nine ratio calculator. And what this basically means is that no matter how big or small the rectangle is, we're going to make sure the videos can fit inside of it. So we're going to go ahead and put the rectangle and size it to how big we want it to be approximately. And I think that's a good size right there, just one big rectangle. So once we make our rectangle, we want to take note of the dimensions of the rectangle. And as you can see, the width is 1148.97 pixels. So we're going to go ahead and go into the calculator, put in that same width, which was 1148. 0.97 and as you can see our height needs to be 646 so that the rectangle can actually be proportionate to the video rectangle so we're going to go ahead go into the height unlink it and type in 646 and there we go we have a 16 by 9 rectangle now on the right side we can change all of the elements of this rectangle so i'm going to go ahead and we can change the color to anything so i'm going to make it maybe like dark gray if we wanted to, we could also add a linear gradient or any sort of gradient and choose the colors of the gradient as well, like so. We can also add a border. So we're going to add a white border and make it a bit thicker. So we're gonna click on that and make it about five pixels. And that looks really cool. We can also change the opacity of the rectangle. So if you want the background to show through, you could like that, which wouldn't really make a difference because we might be putting a video on top as well. Now the next step is to go ahead and to actually align this rectangle to the outro. So we are going to go ahead and click on it. We're going to go over here onto snapping and grid, and we're going to open up snapping and we're going to snap it to the middle. Now I think the easiest way to actually align this rectangle is to use the snapping tool, just because when you're moving around, you can see these little lines. And basically once it hits across, it means that it is in the middle horizontal section and the middle vertical section of the actual image. If you want it on the middle bottom half, we would just keep going down 
until it hits across once again. And now we are in the middle bottom section of the actual document and it's been aligned properly, which leaves us room to also put some text at the top. Now the next step is to go ahead and make some text. So we're going to click on the text tool, click on the document and our text is going to pop up. Here we can type in anything we want. So I'm just going to type in Ziovo like so, and then click away. And there we go, our text is made. Now if you click on text over here, you can see all these settings are going to open up. So we are going to change this font size and make it about 140 and make it pretty big. And we're going to go ahead and move it so it is aligned. And as you can see, the snapping tool is once again, once again telling us when it's been centered aligned, like so. And we're going to leave it there. Now you can also go ahead and change the font color to anything you want, but I think the light gray looks really nice. We can also go ahead and add a gradient to the image or the text so it has that cool shadow effect. You can also go ahead and add a border of any color. So we're going to add a black border and make it a bit smaller, like so. You can also add shadows and change the opacity to make it more transparent, but I think that looks good. Now the final step to actually having your outro is to have your social media icons. So what you wanna do is go ahead and look for free social media icon packs and you're going to see this one website which is colorlib.com. I'll link it down below for you guys. So basically from here, you can download a bunch of different social media icons like this one right here. And all you have to do is go onto more info slash download. And once the site opens up, you can download all of these icons. Now to add your social media icons, all you have to do is click on the upload button and find a social media icon. So for example, we're going to take a blogger social icon. We can hold shift, make it larger like so. And then we can drag it wherever we want onto the document and align it as well, like so. And to actually change the color of this image right here, we can go ahead and we can just use the color picker over here and we're going to make it a nice, I think a nice orange color would look nice because it would suit the rest of the look of the outro like so. And if you wanted to, we could also add some more text. Now, another thing you can do is add some text over here because say you don't have a software which allows you to overlay videos, you can just take this te text, copy it and paste it by pressing Control C and Control V and move it down over here, center it. And then we can make this say anything you want, such as maybe previous like that. And then we can align that. And now instead of having a video on top, people know if they click over here, they'll be able to go back to the previous video. Now to save all of your changes, you just wanna go over here and click on the export tool. And we are going to go ahead and download it. And as you can see, our image is downloading and it has loaded right there. And there is our final outro. So that's about it for this video, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. My name is Iovo and I'm signing out. Thank you.